In this video, I want to talk about adding and subtracting integers. But before I uh, go on adding and subtracting integers, I want to talk about some operations that you need to understand. So let's start with something very simple, something that you already should be knowing. Say you have say 6 times 2. You know 6 times 2 is 12. Now, if you want to write the same thing, as division now this is a product so well can I write this as a division so well you can so this is same as writing 6 divided by when you change this division multiplication to division you have to write the opposite or the reciprocal of this number so well what is the reciprocal of 2 so the reciprocal of 2 is 1 over 2 so when you're changing the operation from multiplication to division, this is called an operation. Multiplication is an operation, division is the opposite operation. And 2, I hope you know, is same as writing 2 over 1. And 2 over 1 has to be flipped over, which becomes 1 over 2. And 6 divided by half is same as 6 divided by half. You're asking the question, when you're 6... When you divide 6 into halves, you get how many halves? That is 12. So you can say 6 times 2 is 12, and 6 divided by half is also 12. So let me show this on a calculator, a simple calculator. So here, how would you do it? So 6, this is star is a times 2, is 12. Oh, what there? Okay, sorry. 6 times 2 equals 12. Okay. But if you go 6 divided by let me put this in the bracket i don't know whether okay six divided by uh this this half is can be written as 0.5 so i'm writing six divided by 0 0.5 equal so i'll get my other calculator so that will explain things better so let me show you here suppose if you go if this is a graphic calculator if you go six times two is 12. And if you go 6 divided by, I'm writing half like this, 1 divided by 2. 1 ABC2, or 1, this is 1 half, is also 12. Okay, so let me, if suppose it is, let me give you one more example. Say 4 times 3, this is very important, you may know these things, but when I'm coming to integers, we're going to use the same thing, same idea. So 4 times 3 is 12. So that is same as writing 4 divided by 1 third. Okay, 4 times 3 is 12 and 4 divided by 1 third. So logically, you're asking the question, if you, if you don't want to do the maths, think logically. When you're, one hole has how many thirds? So one hole has 3 thirds. So 4 holes has how many thirds? So basically this is, this is, if you want to write this as English, there are how many, there are how many thirds, how many thirds, thirds in four, or in four, whole. So well, one hole has got three thirds, so four holes will have 12 thirds. So both of them will give you the same answer. So let me show that in the calculator. So 4 times 3 is 12. And 4 divided by, I'll put this in the bracket, 1 ABC3. This is 1 third, is also 12. Okay. Now what if it's a multi... Uh, so let's move on to division. Say, what is 4 divided by... 4 divided by 2. Okay. 4 divided by 2 is 2 but well I want to write this as a multiplication so that is same as writing 4 times half now these are small maths operations which are very important so 4 times half is same as saying 4 divided by 2 okay 4 times half is same as 4 times 0 0.5 okay 0 0.5 half is 0 0.5 and 4 times 0 0.5 is 2 so let me show you that so 4 divided by 2 is 2. 
and 4 divided by 0 0.5 is also or 4 times sorry so 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 4 times 0 0.5 is also 2 okay now let us move on to addition okay or subtraction say what is 5 minus 2 okay so 5 minus 2 is same as you know 5 minus 2 is 3 but if you want to write this as a subtraction that is same as writing 5 plus negative half 5 plus negative half so I've changed this operation to this have changed to addition this negative or this minus has become plus and this is in fact plus 2 this is you're taking away 2 that is plus 2 so this plus 2 has become minus 2 so the opposite of negative or takeaway is plus if you change the negative or from minus to plus you have to change this plus 2 to negative 2 or the opposite or edit this is called the additive opposite of plus 2 and both would give you 3 so let me show this on a calculator again say well you know 5 minus 2 is 3 you should and if you go 5 plus negative 2 it will also give you 3 okay what if we take minus sorry say let's take four, plus 5 plus uh, 3 5 plus 3 is we know is 8 but well I want to change this operation of negative to positive sorry this positive to negative so that is same as saying 5 take away this is plus 3 so what should we do now think about it so the opposite I've changed this negative or plus sign to minus so I have to change this plus 3 to negative 3 this is negative 3. it's the same as saying 5 take away negative 3 and both should give you 8 so taking away a negative is same as adding okay so let me show you that again so 5 plus plus 3 okay which is 8 and 5 take away negative 3 is also 8 okay so let's move on and say do some real questions okay now what happens if it is 6 plus 6 take away negative 3 okay now from 6 okay so yeah this is the question like this 6 plus 6 take away negative 3 so I want to change this negative to positive because you from 6 from 6 you can't uh, visually understand what does it mean to take away negative 3 so well I want to change this into negative from from this minus to plus so this is the same as writing plus 6 plus you have to change this number to the opposite of this so the opposite of negative 3 is plus 3 and this is say as simple as asking what is 6 plus 3 this is simple as asking what is 6 plus 3 and I hope you should know this is 6 plus 3 is 9 so let me show this on a calculator so the question was what is plus 6 take away negative 3 okay the answer is 9 or if you go plus 6 plus plus 3 is also 9 okay so let us move on to the next question okay so the next question is say what is negative 1 take away negative 8 okay so you've got too many negatives so well I want to change this into positive or plus so this is same as us saying this is negative 1 plus whenever you change the operation this is called the operation the opposite of opposite operation so you can change the negative or minus to plus and plus to minus and you can change from multiplication to division and division to multiplication so they are opposite to each other so then you have to change this negative 8 the opposite of negative is plus 8 so this is same as 
asking. This is plus and plus is plus, so this is negative 1 plus 9. Okay, well, what is negative 1 plus 9? That is same as asking what is 9 minus 1. And 9 minus 1 is 8. Negative 1 plus 9 is same as asking 9 minus 1. Okay, because this is a plus 9, take away 1. Okay. And that is 8. So let me, if this is confusing, okay, or if this is confusing, so let me, I think this may be confusing to some of you. So this is same as asking uh, negative 1 plus 9. Negative 1, okay, so can I write this as negative 1? I'm thinking this plus 9, can I write as plus 1, this 9? I'm writing as plus 1 plus 8. This is 9. 9 can I write as 1 plus 8? 1 plus 8 is 9. And this negative 1 and positive 1 gets cancelled. And the answer is 8. Okay. So let me show this on a calculator. Negative 1 take away negative 8 is... Oh, I made a mistake here. I'm going to check here. I did, why did I change this to 9? It is 8, yeah? Sorry, it's always good to check. So this, for some reason, my brain was malfunctioning. So this is plus 8, okay? So this is plus 7. The answer should be 7. So calculator helps you to check your answer. So this is plus 7. Okay, so this is what? Negative 1 take away negative 8 is plus 7 and the same is asking so negative 1 okay hold on negative 1 plus plus 8 is 7 okay so let's do one more example when it is say what is negative 1 or negative 7 plus plus 3 so when it is plus there is no problem Plus and plus means it is plus. You're adding something, adding a positive means you're adding. So this plus and plus means it's plus, which is same as when it is negative, it's a main problem. So it's negative 7 plus 3. Okay. Now how will you explain this? Okay. Negative 7 plus 3. Okay. Uh, okay. So how will I explain this? So this kind of write negative 7 is same as writing negative 4 plus negative 3. Negative 7 is negative 4 plus negative 3 plus 3. Okay. And negative, so this is negative 3 plus 3 gets cancelled. And so your answer is negative 4. Okay. So let me explain this in a different way. How will you explain negative 7 plus 3? So let me draw a number line say number line is a good way of explaining uh, adding and subtracting so integer so this is say your zero this is zero on the number line this is negative one negative two negative three negative four negative five negative six and negative seven so this is minus seven okay this is negative one two three four five six seven so you're adding, so this is negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2. Okay, so you start at negative 1. This is your starting point. This is negative 7, sorry. And you're going three steps to the right. Okay, so you go 1. This is your first step. Okay, this is two steps. Plus means you're going to the right. And where do you reach? You reach at negative 4. And your answer is negative 4. Okay. So let me take the last example. Okay. What is, what is negative 8 uh, take away plus 2? Okay. You're taking away, you're taking away plus 2. That means you're taking away 2. This is basically saying what is negative 8 take away 2. What's negative 8? Take away 2. 
So again, let me explain on a number line. Say this is your number line. And so this is zero. This is zero somewhere here. And so this is your negative eight. So you're going to the left. So you're starting at negative eight. Okay. And you are going two steps to the left. So one, two. So where would you reach? You reach, if you're going to the left, this is negative nine and this is negative 10. So this is two, this is negative eight. And this arrow, you're going to the left, so this is minus two. So negative eight, take away two is negative 10. I'll um, make more videos on integers uh, as uh, I get more examples.